Black Mountain is no longer the little sister to Asheville, its larger neighbor to the west. This charming hamlet is becoming increasingly known for its diverse population and sophisticated food offerings. Such is the case for a small restaurant that offers big flavors of France and Argentina called La Guinguette. The name La Guinguette comes from Stefan's idea. Because it's, it is kind of like a Ganget, it's a house here. And, and Ganget started like around parks or around the riverside in the 1900, early 1900. And there was establishment where people would drink, of course, and eat and dance. The Ganget Cecilia Marcassini and Stefan Diaz have created is near downtown Black Mountain on Richardson Boulevard, a long way from the places they used to call home. Well, I'm from Paris, France born and raised. I'm originally from Argentina. Here, French and Latin cuisine exist in complete harmony. Stefan's contribution is the crepe, or crepe recipe, as some Americans pronounce it. It's been a staple in France for centuries, but some of their guests feel they've improved on the age-old recipes. If you go to France, and we did this in Brittany ourselves some years ago, and ordered a crepe, you don't get this clean, crisp, delicious taste. It might even be greasy. La Ganguette's crepes come with many different fillings, like papaye au poulet. Spinach and chicken with a cream sauce, and it was delicious. They also make a seafood crepe called the Atlantic. And first of all, I'm gonna make my shell, which is like a French burrito, someone will say. It's a very, very thin pancake. And for whatever wonderful reason, this is not gonna burn in the bottom, but it's gonna cook the ingredients on the top. So I'm gonna add some Swiss cheese. We're gonna add eggs, salmon, leeks, and of course, it's French needs cream and also a little bit of pepper, a tiny little bit of salt on those eggs. And now I'm gonna fold it so it's ready to serve. Cecilia's savory crepes offer an additional benefit to their fantastic flavor. Our crepes are a traditional crepe called galette that I make with buckwheat, so that make it gluten-free. And the, there's these days a high demand for gluten-free dishes. We have some sort of tamales in Argentina. The ones that I make are Mexican style, but it's my interpretation of a Mexican tamal. It's a great combo. I, I have not been familiar with it before, but it, it works perfectly with the crepe, the tamales. It's a nice balance. Crepe may be a little lighter. This is a little denser, the tamale, but it's delicious. La Ganguette also serves sweet crepes, but Cecilia's personal specialty are the empanadas filled with meats, cheeses, and vegetables. And also we have soups, we have salads, we have appetizers, so people can come and have a glass of wine with a nice cheese plate or a French tableau or an Argentinian picada. And we also have specials like beef bourguignon or coco van. France and Argentina may be thousands of miles from North Carolina. But thanks to La Ganguette, some of the delicious foods of these countries are now right at home in Black Mountain. Most towns of comparable size probably wouldn't have as many options, that's, that's for sure. You know, when they call chicken pollo and uh, poule, it's, it's okay to eat chicken that's called something different, particularly when it's prepared well, so this is good. I think good quality, homemade, fresh, simple, it's our Log and Get Crapery is located across the street from the post office at 105 Richardson Boulevard in Black Mountain. For more information, give them a call at 828-357-5636 or check them out online at logandgetnc.com.